Hello, I'm Will Sampson from Cabinet Maker and FDM Magazine. We're in the shop today to talk about a new line of cordless tools from DeWalt. Actually, really what we should start to talk about first is what really amounts to a revolution that's happening in cordless tools today. That everybody is developing new lithium-ion batteries which are smaller and lighter and that allows for smaller and lighter tools but with similar performance functions as the bigger tools. You know, for a long time it seemed like there was a sort of an arms race in the portable power tool world and they kept getting, you know, 18 volt and then 24 volt and, and all these, but they, they created tools that had big heavy nickel cadmium batteries and if you're using that on a job site all day it got to be a real pain. So uh, with the advent of lithium ion batteries, tool makers were able to make smaller tools that had similar performance functions. One of the earliest ones that, that we tested was this little Bosch tool. And uh, it uses a 10.8-volt uh, lithium battery. And that's how it was marketed, as 10.8-volt. Now what we're seeing is that the lithium-ion batteries are still 10.8 volt nominal batteries, but the companies, DeWalt included, and several others, are now marketing these as 12 volt max because the peak power is 12 volts. But it's still a 10.8 volt battery, so there's a little bit of confusion there. But the, uh, the thing to understand is it allows for a smaller, lighter, more powerful uh, tool for the size uh, that may be more convenient for you to use. In the case of this uh, DeWalt cordless screwdriver, the first thing that you notice when you compare it to uh, uh, something like, like the Bosch tool is you can put it down and it stands up. The, Bosch tool and several others like it use a, a tubular uh, type battery that goes in the handle and it just doesn't balance, it doesn't work that way. So that's, that's a convenience feature. Uh, other features on the DeWalt, uh, it has a, a little hook on here so that you can uh, put it on your belt and carry it that way and the hook goes on either left or right side. Um, one of the things I really like about it is it has a chuck that is one-handed and that means that you can push this there and pull out your bit just like that and putting in the bit is just as simple as that and it's locked in solid. Now compare that to you know more conventional style where you have to really use two hands or uh, to put it in or take it out uh, not, you know, you, you could probably with a little bit of gymnastics figure out how to get it out one-handed, but it's not as easy and fast and simple as, as what you just saw with the, uh, uh, the new DeWalt chuck. Another uh, big advantage of, of this unit is, is lighting on it. Now, the, the, uh, there have been a lot of tools that have come out, cordless tools, with lights on them. And this is a good example of what the issues are with just one light here. Then you can see if you light up the work surface right where you're contacting the bit is still in shadow. So it is a light, but right, right where you need the business end, there isn't much light there. What DeWalt did is they came up with putting three lights that are all around the chuck. And so that means that your work area is completely illuminated with very little shadow at all. Uh, so that's very handy. And again, you can trigger the light without triggering the bit, or you can have the light going on while you're, you're drilling. So those features are really nice. Um, another thing, since the battery is... Uh, separate and you know at the bottom of the handle the handle can be thinner and more ergonomic so particularly for folks with small hands for women uh, the this may be a much more comfortable grip than the kind of 
larger round grip that has to accommodate the uh, uh, battery in the handle. But of course, you know, the, the big question is, is how does it perform? Well, let's just uh, give these a try and give you a comparison. This is the DeWalt. Okay, we didn't get a real good grip on that bit on that one, so that may have colored that, but I think you'll see a little bit of a difference here. So, a little bit faster, a little bit more powerful. Um, recently we used this unit here to install um, some subflooring in a cabin that we're building and uh, uh, you know I thought that in that kind of a circumstance that we would be wanting a, a bigger drill driver and more powerful with more durability but it was surprising this held up really well uh, driving all those screws and uh, uh, definitely was a, a great alternative for comfort and weight and size. I think that uh, uh, you know if you can get over some of the macho uh, idea of this little, little screwdriver thing uh, it's definitely something that uh, you might want to look into. It has uh, just like bigger drill drivers it has a wide variety of uh, clutch settings and uh, the maximum speed. Uh, in addition to this particular unit uh, as part of the family of these 12 volt max tools that uh, uh, DeWalt is coming out with this fall. There is also a drill driver that has a uh, toolless chuck so that it will handle drill bits uh, more easily. Uh, that one doesn't have a light but it has the uh, regular chuck on it. Then uh, there is also a uh, impact driver and uh, uh, there is a freestanding uh, light that uses this battery that's a very nice little lighting system. Um, and uh, uh, all of those again use the same uh, 12 volt max lithium battery. Uh, comes in uh, a, uh, a case like this with uh, uh, charger and two batteries. It's a nice little setup and definitely uh, uh, a great alternative to having to heft around uh, say a big 18 volt driver uh, all day long uh, if that's what you need to do. So it's something definitely worth checking out. That's what we got for today. Thanks for watching.